Hi, my name is Jan Rudzinski and I'm a student with the Division of Gastroenterology at the University of Alberta. The title of my project is Quantitative Analysis of TNF-alpha-induced intestinal epithelial cell shedding and increased permeability of macromolecules and translocation of commensal bacteria. It has been shown that TNF-alpha plays a significant role in the pathogenesis of inflammatory bowel disease. It has also been shown that TNF-alpha induces increased intestinal epithelial cell shedding and increased intestinal permeability. We hypothesize that TNF-alpha-induced epithelial cell shedding causes barrier dysfunction and increased antigen presentation. In this study, we conducted confocal laser microscopy and conventional light microscopy to quantitate TNF-alpha-induced intestinal epithelial cell shedding and correlated our results with FITC labeled dextran absorption test and translocation of GFP labeled commensal E. coli. The 129 SVEV control mice were divided into two groups. The experimental group received 0.175 microgram per gram of intraperitoneal TNF alpha injection. The control group received an equal volume of intraperitoneal saline injection. First, we conducted confocal laser microscopy on a 2 cm segment of exteriorized rodent terminal ileal segment, which was stained with acroflavin. Confocal laser microscopy is a novel real-time imaging modality, which enables three-dimensional in vivo optical biopsy of the rodent small intestinal tract. We then took ileal segment adjacent to the area where confocal laser microscopy was conducted for a light microscopy analysis. Images obtained from confocal laser microscopy were reconstructed in 3D and five villi from each animal was analyzed for epithelial gap density by a blinded reviewer. Epithelial gap density is defined as total number of gaps normalized to total number of epithelial cells per imaged villi. For light microscopy, the ileal tissue was frozen in cryomatrix sectioned and stained with ocean blue and nuclear fast red for gap identification. Histological specimens were analyzed by an expert GI pathologist who analyzed gap density in 10 villi per animal. For permeability test, we orogastrically gavaged the mice with 0.6 mg per gram of FITC labeled dextran and blood samples were collected 4 hours later by conducting a cardiac puncture. The collected blood samples were analyzed for fluorescent absorption of plasma dextran concentration. For translocation studies, we orogastrically gavaged the animals with 10 to the power of 10 GFP labeled E. coli suspended in 0.17 milliliters of LB broth after an overnight fast. After 24 hours, the animals were euthanized and we obtained liver spleen, and blood samples for bacterial culture. Epithelial gap appearance on three-dimensional confocal laser microscopy is shown in this figure. On confocal laser microscopy, the nuclei of epithelial cells are brightly stained with acroflavin and the gaps appear as dark, irregular areas surrounded by adjacent cells. Epithelial gap density, as determined by confocal laser microscopy, is plotted on the y-axis. Control is represented by a bar on the left-hand side while the TNF-alpha treated control group is represented by a bar on the right hand side. Cell shedding is fourfold higher in the TNF treated mice as compared to control. Similarly, light microscopy determined epithelial gap density was twofold higher in the TNF treated mice as can be shown in this next figure. The gap density difference observed between confocal laser microscopy and light microscopy was due to the three-dimensional and two-dimensional nature of the image analysis. This graph shows the dextran absorption in two groups. Compared to controls, the serum dextran concentration was five-fold higher in the TNF-treated mice. The liver, spleen, and blood cultures from the saline-treated mice were all negative, while the TNF-treated mice grew GFP-labeled E. coli in liver and spleen, confirming the translocation of commensal bacteria through the intestinal epithelial barrier. In conclusion, our results have shown that TNF-alpha injection into the 129 SVEV mice induced significant intestinal epithelial cell shedding as measured by epithelial gap density conducted by confocal laser microscopy 
and light microscopy. The increased epithelial cell shedding was associated with increased macromolecular permeability and increased translocation of commensal bacteria. Thank you.